Hello and welcome to this video that's called ChatGPT Quiz. And if you're curious about how to use ChatGPT for multiple choice questions, this is going to be perfect for you. Now, given the fact that this is a marketing channel, I'm going to do something that revolves around marketing and asking about someone's experience. However, you can use this for anything. So even if you're not into internet marketing, obviously replace that with something you want to ask questions about. And then, of course, you can just copy this process and go from there. So the prompt that I have down below says, give me four questions that ask about someone's experience with internet marketing. So this is going to be going on a landing page where, you know, before someone opts in, you can get a good idea of where they're at. So this is what I have. Let's click on this button here and see what we get. All right. So here we are. I put, can you tell me about a successful internet marketing campaign you have executed in the past? How do you stay current? How do you measure the success of ROI? How do you approach creating, implementing a comprehensive internet marketing strategy? So I'm going to do one more. I'm just going to change it. Out. I'm going to put like, you know, how long have you been an internet marketer for or something like that? So I'm going to substitute one of these. Yeah, so as you can see, it's but how long have you been an internet marketer for? I'm going to copy this, you know, just because ChatGPT gives you stuff doesn't mean you have to use all of it. So what I want to do is just give me four multiple choice answers for this specific question is pretty much going to be the basis of this. You can word it however you want, but you don't have to also, uh, you know, do three answers. You can do four or five. It's up to you. So give me a second. I'm going to write in a prompt. All right. So I put give me four multiple choice options for the question. How long have you been an internet marketer for? All right, perfect. Less than one year, one to three years, three to five years, or more than five. So I'm going to copy this. Perfect. Okay. Can you tell me about a successful internet marketing campaign you have executed in the past? That one's a little bit more difficult. I probably should have replaced that one just because it's more of an open-ended question. Uh, I guess you could do uh, multiple choice, although it it's like I said, it's, you know, I had a campaign that did well. I haven't had any campaign, just kind of thinking about that. So I'm going to skip that one. We can always just replace that or do a different one. Uh, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste that in. And once again, I'm going to get this prompt right here. Give me four multiple choice options for the question. How do you measure the success and ROI of your internet ma marketing efforts? Chat GPT really went off the rails there. I said four and we got a lot more than four. This one would actually be to, all right, obviously like number of conversions and sales is a very good answer. You know, uh, amount of revenue generated. Then it says by all the above. Um, if I really had to answer this myself, I'm still looking at B because revenue is generate actually B and C. Uh, so a by a combination of B and C, like you can have a ton of visitors, maybe for running ads really depends, but I think it would be B and C or all the above. So if you really want to make these difficult, I guess that's a way of doing it. OK, and I'm just going to delete this one because it probably it's more about it's open ended, you know, so I could write more about one of your best strategies, you know, detail it. And let's go here. Let's do the same process. Let's copy this before. Maybe it'll give us four. Maybe it'll give us eight. We don't know. Of course, if it gives us more, we don't have to use them, right? Okay. So thorough market research, identifying and targeting specific customer segments, valuable engaging content, a mix of different marketing channels, outsourcing, trial and error, a specific framework or methodology. And it says by using a combination of the methods above, probably H, you know, would be mine there. I see there's a few there. Let's copy that. So let's actually do one more. Uh, just as a bonus, I want to see if we can make it very difficult to answer. So give me one second. I'm going to come up with a question. All right, so I went to paste it and I accidentally hit enter, but I said, give me four multiple choice options for the question. Pretty much what's the hottest social media platform right now. But what I want to do is see if I can make it like a very difficult question to answer. So I'm going to change this around. Okay, so I put and make this a very difficult question to answer. So maybe it'll have something like this with combinations. Well, let's put that in there. Okay, so I said that include combinations of answers. Let's see if it knows what I'm talking about. Like I said, usually input relates to output. So if it doesn't understand you, you can always rewrite it. Ah, and as it's going, I, I have an idea that, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All the above, none of the above. Oh, there we go. A comp. Wow. So when you do a combination of A and B, it's like Instagram, TikTok, and, tick and LinkedIn, which would be A and B. Okay, so perfect. That did exactly what we wanted to. So ChatGPT also has the capability of not only giving you a quiz, multiple choice questions, but you can really crank up the difficulty. If you want to make it as easy as possible, you just do like Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, or you do like LinkedIn or YouTube or, you know, something like that. But now we have all the above, none of the above, combination of A, B, and C, uh, A, C, and D, uh, 
combination of uh, that's funny i said a i was looking at that but c and d e and f g and h and it depends on the industry and target audience so talk about a quiz that one definitely was much more difficult but hope you got some value out of this video that's the simple process that you can use when it comes to creating quizzes or multiple choice options and you can use that for anything you want if you have any questions as always feel free to leave a comment down below my name is james thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video